Welcome back to the Geo channel, and today we're going to be making the 25 billionth video about how horrible Twitch's policies are. And this one, just in particular, is going to be about Twitch's absolutely terrible, destructively awful hate speech policies. I want to start out by saying don't harass, bug, or bother anybody that I mentioned in this video. If we stoop to their level, then we are just as bad as they are. Uh, namely Hassan, and anybody who says kill all anything, I don't want to hear any of that. Now, Twitch's hate speech policy is not exactly classified as a hate speech policy. It's categorized under civility and respect under Twitch's guidelines. Now, I'm sure we're all familiar with that clip of Hassan saying that he wants to drag landlords out by their feet, I think, and have the streets covered in their red blood. Well, my understanding of it is that the property owners who have properties there choose just not to rent it at all. Yeah, kill them! Kill those motherfuckers in a video game, sorry. Holy shit! <laughs> Murder those motherfuckers in the street! Let the streets- Let the streets soak in their fucking red capitalist bloods, dude. Oh my god, in a video game, of course. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fucking shit, dude! Sorry. Uh, I meant in a video game. Essentially, not only calling to action a large group of people towards violence towards a specific group of people, but also making a violent threat towards landlords. Now, this is already a bannable offense under violence and threats. Now, I don't like landlords as much as the next guy, but I'm gonna be real, bro. Bro and M does not deserve to be shot in the streets, bro. I feel like that is maybe a slight overreaction, you know what I'm saying? And I, th I feel like he could have at least tried to tone it down and maybe be more personable and understand the size of his audience. But no, no, it's okay because the rules apply to everyone else other than Hassan. The rules don't apply to Hassan. Why would anyone think that? I mean, the very head and I believe CEO of Twitch is reportedly a very, very big fan of Hassan. I mean, it's no surprise that he's never going to get banned no matter how much he claims to hate the Jews, which leads me into my next problem problem with him. The fact that he not only has no differentiation between Jews and Zionists, but also likes to propagate terrorist propaganda regarding people who very, very clearly don't just hate Zionists and hate Jews. What I'm referring to is his affiliation with known Houthi pirates and the Houthi movement. This is a stupid question, okay? You can preface it with that. Does he, wa does he know what One Piece is? Um, uh, أول شيء بقول لك إنه ممكن هذا السؤال يكون شوي أهبل بس بسألك تعرف شو هو One Piece عمرك سمعت بي One Piece أكيد يعني مدة الطفولة أنا شاهد One Piece لوفي لوفي <laughs> 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 Yeah, he said he's he's been watching it since he was- Now, the Houthi movement, also known as Ansar Allah, is a Yemen-based political Islamic movement that's motto, I directly quote, says, God is the greatest, death to America, death to Israel, curse be upon the Jews, victory to Islam. The Saudis were killing, by the way, just so you know, these fucking musically gifted individuals. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I need the money. Guys. I'm gonna grab my food. Yeah. Now, are these the types of people that should be being propagated on Twitch? A platform that regards itself as protecting protected groups? No, because you want to know what Twitch considers a protected group only when it benefits them? The Jews. Now, with this knowledge of what the Houthis are, would you assume that Twitch would allow the display of not only affection, but display of support directly to a Houthi pirate in an interview by Hassan Piker? Do you think Twitch would allow that, given their guidelines and the things they claim to support? I had one piece, Lofi. <laughs> um, yeah, he said he's he's been watching it since he was a kid. <laughs> no way! Is this something that, you know, they would stand behind? Well, apparently it is. Because Hassan took a known Houthi pirate and did an entire puff piece, an entire, uh, essentially sucked his dick for like, I don't know, 30 fucking minutes and, and just, you know, let him ramble on, let him get the fucking victory, let him know that there's, I guess, American terrorist supporters. And yes, the Houthi movement is recognized as a terrorist group, but that's all fine, you know? Some people fuck up a lot, you know? Some more than others. 
others, namely Hassan, but, um, you know, it gets one or two excuses, it's fine. What else I'd like to talk about is the fact that he promotes, glorifies, and threatens or advocates violence or physical harm or death against individuals. And he does this quite a bit. I mean, like, a f like a lot. Like a fucking lot, dude. It seems like every other clip of Hassan is him advocating the death of some new, uh, group that you'd think should be protected and you'd think would be protected. This person is the fact that you, a guy that isn't super well-versed on trans shit, brought on a known transphobe knowing he might bring up transphobic shit. You aren't exactly a Vosh at trans debates. I hope, I hope that the rest of your life is as horrible as it is every single day, okay? There you go. Suck my dick. I despise you. I despise you more than anything else on the planet. So that's the other part of this problem that many people that can't contend with. Like the Palestinian resistance is not perfect. Millionaire, billionaire, wasp, fail sons. Um, at least taking them out of other colleges so they can only do date rape to other billionaire, millionaire, fail daughters is like in some respects, you know, from a utilitarian perspective, of course, a little bit better. My analysis, even if there was multiple rapes that took place on October 7, this does not change anything for me in this dynamic. What rapes did Hezbollah do? Bro, what rapes did fucking Hamas do? What are you talking about? Very funny. Hamas has committed horrific acts of sexual violence and took t women and girls, men and boys, slaughtered after enduring sexual violence. The deadliest day of the, for the Jewish people. Women were horribly raped. As I said then, I say today, Israel had a right, has a right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if fucking rapes happen on October 7. Like, that doesn't change the dynamic for me even this much. So, that's the other part of this problem that many people that can't contend with. Like, the Palestinian resistance is not perfect. I also want to imply that he has- not imply, sorry. I want to say that he has previously referred to Orthodox Jews as all inbred. The, the ultra-Orthodox Jews leaving Israel? Fucking hilarious. Okay? If they serve in the military and then they get their fucking untrained inbred asses shipped into southern Lebanon. Now this would fall under content that implies that another contemporary culture is primitive. Now, I just want to lead with those two things. Um, he has said a number, a numerous amount of things that are genuinely anti-Jew and anti-Semitic. He is one of the most shameless, harmful anti-Semites known to man, and his following only continuously grows and grows and grows and Twitch has done nothing to stop the spread of anti-Semitism reeking out of his videos and clips. Do I think Hassan should be banned for any of this? Based on Twitch's rules, absolutely. Personally, no. I think he should get seen by everybody else as the fucking crazy person that he is, and I think he's done a pretty good job of that, other than the fact that he's just, you know, amassing radicals uh, by the second. Uh, but everyone on YouTube seems to pretty much hate Hassan and all of his disgusting radical behavior and activity. It seems to just be, um, the sort of Twitch community that lives in this weird bubble and shell, uh, of, of a pipeline that they go down and they find Hassan and they're like, oh, well, this guy hates the Jews like I do. And they're like, oh, this guy, we love Houthis. Mm. Like, it, this shit is nonsensical. It's fucking disgusting that he's allowed to continue to do this, right? If, if someone like Asmongold is banned for saying, uh, fucking, what was it? He's banned for calling Islam a primitive culture. He's banned for calling Islam a, a culture that is directly inferior to Western culture. That's, that's fine. He should be banned for that by Twitch's reasoning, right? By Twitch's rules and moderation to keep the site civil, right? Why has Hassan not been banned for saying the exact same things about Jews? Now, I think this is due to the CEO of Twitch being an anti-Semite. Plain and simple. I think that he is either sleeping with Hassan or he's a raging anti-Semite. There's no other explanation for this. Other streamers even surrounding Hassan have been banned for their comments and rhetoric regarding the troops, regarding Israel, regarding things of that nature, except for Hassan. So this leads me to the conclusion that they are both raging anti-Semites and I don't know, they're probably having gay sex or something. But um, I also want to take a minute to point out the fact that a letter has come in, I believe, 
relief from the Supreme Court, uh, saying that there is a concerning amount of anti-Semitic behavior growing from Twitch, and that they may inevitably have to take action against it. And I found this absolutely fucking hilarious. I found it absolutely hilarious. Like, I, I lost my shit when I heard this, this bit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, fuck this guy. This, I mean, he's a real fucking scumbag piece of shit. I, he, he thinks my people, and yes, I'm a Jew, he thinks my people are subhuman and below him. And he thinks that people in Islam have been, you know, just all horribly dehumanized by the Jews, when in reality, for thousands of years, it's been the opposite. For thousands of years, Muslims were reigning over the Jews. For thousands of years, that was the case. And then the Muslims kicked us out and tried to kill us all off, just like every single part of the world has tried to do. This fucking guy is a nutcase who does not care about anyone's struggles. And it particularly agitates me that he compared the Houthi pirate that he was supporting to Anne Frank, the same person that he thinks is an inbred piece of shit who should die. I talked to a, a teenager from Yemen, okay? Mm -hmm who uh, everyone called, myself included, called Tim Houthi Charlemagne, or, or Chalamet. Is that yeah, the uh, was... the One Piece one? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Now this kid, this kid is like, I think he was like 19 at the time when I talked to him. Which means that for most of his life, he has withstood genocide, right? Sure. Like he's, he is a person whose only experience is like, it's literally like talking to fucking <laughs> Anne Frank, basically, okay? Being able to talk to Anne Frank. Uh, in in real time that's all he's known is is death and destruction all right i hate this guy i th i think i think it's fair to say this i don't like somebody who hates me based off of nothing other than my race all right and i think this guy i i think i think there's a dark dark place for him coming up the line i think his he won't he will not be fulfilled in life simply hating another person based on where they are especially because he likes to talk about how he hates billionaires and he hates rich people when he's one of the most wealthy people to come out out of Twitch. He is the most wealthy Twitch employee. And yes, technically he is a Twitch employee. It is absurd and comedic that he has been able to propagate his disgusting, hateful ideology all over Twitch. Do I think he should be banned? No. Do I think Twitch should be a freedom of speech platform? Absolutely. Do I think based on Twitch's rules, he should be banned and fuck off the platform? 110%. It's incredibly hypocritical that they haven't. Anyways, this was the Geo channel and and, um, thank you for listening to my rant and my amazing setup. Um, I love all of you. I'm just kidding. I hate all of you. Uh, I'm gonna go do homework now because I have an exam tomorrow, so wish me luck. Uh, bye! Oh yeah, one more thing! Bro, talk shit, we running him down. He almost moved with a gang, no, no. That shit is not advised. I've been on my come up, now some people with no rise. They ain't got no money and they not up, no surprise. No, no, no. Man, I'm rapping, I'm a fan.